wanase kal halal yom yahawa bahasham yahawa shai bahasham haraka kudash that but anos be to the apostles who are elders of great millstone who rule well and shalom to all the sensei akim out there across the four winds the four corners of the earth pushing this good news of yahawa shai this gospel of yahawa shai i proclaim it destruction to the heathen and the two-thirds men and salvation to the elect of Israel. So as you can see, we're creeping closer and closer, man. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue to repeat that refrain, man. We're creeping closer and closer, you know what I mean? To the kingdom of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Every day, every hour, every minute, every second is a day, an hour, a minute, a second closer to the glorious kingdom of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And so we have to stay steadfast, man. You know what I mean? I keep the fit. You know what I mean? And the main, the main point I want to get to in this lesson, man, is salvation is still only for Israel. You know what I mean? You have these heathens out there, man. These heathens are going to be looking for salvation. You know what I mean? These Muslims, these Buddhists, Christians, Christians these so-called white Christians, Chinese Christians, all of these nations, man, the 17 heathen nations are, are going to be looking for salvation in these end, end days and times. And many of them believe that they're going to get salvation. But guess what? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai have a surprise for them. Salvation is only for Israel, particularly the elect of Israel, man. This is the book of John, chapter 4, verse 22. I'll start at verse 21. Yahweh Shai said unto her, speaking about Yahweh Shai talking to the Samaritan woman, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh. When ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father, ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Okay, so Yahweh Shai straight up this amen. <laughs> straight up this amen, right to the face, man. Saying you heathens know not what you worship, man. You have you heathens over there in Jerusalem, man, in the Holy Land in in Jerusalem and in the in the Holy Land of Yasha Allah, man. The holy land of Israel. Hey, but guess what? The time coming where you're not going to be able to worship in that land. Where you're going to come to pay tribute and worship, but you, you're no longer going to have uh, own, uh, have ownership of that land, man. You know what I mean? Because you stole ownership of that land. That land truly belongs to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So that come a time where hey, you're no longer going to be in charge of that land, man. You know what I mean? For what? Salvation is of the Jews, the real Jews. The, the people who catch in hell, man, across the four winds of the earth, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And ye heathens know not what you worship, man. You Muslims who are worshiping a copper stone, a rock. Now, I mean, let me see that delivering you these these days and times, man. You have you Rastas, man. You two-thirds of Israel, man. You Rastafarians worshiping Selassie. You know what I mean? All this madness, man. Let me see Selassie they, they deliver you these last days and times. You have you two-thirds uh doing voodoo worship santaria you know i mean blue brewhaaria you know i mean saint worship plantation christian let me see those uh those deities those false deities save you in the, those last days and times man because you two-thirds are as much are, are damn near as much heathens as the heathens themselves man so even you <laughs> you're gonna be cast out man you're gonna have to come back in the kingdom man in your right mind man rebirth through the elect <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You can't say that's plain and straight from Yahweh Shai Mount himself, man. He is not sent, but to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. So you heathens. You ain't for a big surprise, man. As, as these tumultuous times come upon us, man, all these nations are going to be crying toward their gods, man. And what does, the, what does the scriptures tell us about the gods of the nations? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 96, verse 5. I start at verse 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, man. So Yahweh Yahusha is above all these false gods out there, man. All these false deities, man. Buddha, Caesar Borges, man. 
You know what I mean? Shango, Selassie, Selassie, man. All these false deities, these false gods, man. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai is above them, man. Why? Verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idle, but the Lord made the heavens. Because all these gods of these nations are dumb idols, man. You know what I mean? They, they, they have no avail, man. They have no power. You know what I mean? They're dumb idols. They neither speak, nor, no, no. They, they can't do nothing, man. They're dumb idols, man. They can't hear. They can't speak. They can't, they can't grant you anything, man. They're just dumb idols, man. That are just figments of men, wicked men, vain imagination, man, that have uh, polluted the earth. Can't so all the gods of the nations are idols, man. But Yahweh Haushai is a true power. The power of who? Yasha Allah, Israel, man. So all these heathens they're gonna be calling upon them idols, man. When these tumultuous these tumultuous times is upon us, man. World War Three, cause famine. You know what I mean? Pestilence. You have these heathens calling upon their gods, man. As we speak, and even more so in these last days and times. But guess what? The their their false gods ain't gonna answer their prayers. Why? Because why? They, they, hey, they, 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 their prayers is not being heard because why? They're praying to a false god, man. You know what I mean? So they, their prayers is of no avail, man. You know what I mean? Their prayers is, a, is an abomination to the true and living power, man. Let me get that scripture. Their, their prayers, no, I don't have to get it. Their prayers is an abomination to the true power, man. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Why? Because hey, he's only the power of Israel, man. He regarded not the heathen, man. They are insignificant to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so whoever, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let's see who. Who's that whosoever? Verse 22. Ye men of Israel hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you as ye yourself also know. And so Yahweh, ye men of Israel, man. You know what I mean? That's who Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is pertaining to, speaking to, man, dealing with, man. Like the book, book of Amos, say what? Only you have I know, man, who Yahweh, Yahweh Shai brought out of, the, out of the land of Egypt, Israel, man. Not these other dusty, musty, e-heated nations. Now they are insignificant, man. And we are about to see this, man. We are about to witness this in our lifetime. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, will it, man? We can have a test of the gods of the earth, man. And see who's a true power, man. You're going to see who's a true power in these end days and times. For it shall surely be manifest, man. Because the true power is going to save his men, man. It's going to, it's going to protect his men in these last days and times, man. In these turbulent times. So, hey, man. We're going to see, we're going to see who, who the Most High is dealing with, man. The test of faith, man. The test. Hey, man. Hey. Great things is to come, man, to those who believe, man, who believe in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, 100%. 100%. And those are who? The elect of Israel, man, the beloved of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5. Verse 31. Verse 30. Verse 30. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Talking about the Romans, man, and you two thirds of Israel. Verse 31 Him had Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Cancel it, Yahweh Shai. Well, sacrifice was to what? Redeem Israel, man. Yasha Allah, man. Nobody else, man. That's who Yahweh Shai blood sacrifices pertaining to. Straight out the scriptures, man. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. 
Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, <laughs> for he had visited, visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. Can so hey, <laughs> straight right there, man. The horn of salvation is for who? Israel, man. The power of salvation is for Israel, man. The strength of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, Yahweh Shai blood is for the who? The elect of Israel, man. Particularly. So hey, man, you heathens, man. Hey, you in for it, man. You in for a rude awakening, man. You're gonna awake into captivity, man. Perpetual captivity and slavery, man. And Esau, Edom. Hey, you, you have it the worst out of all. <laughs> you gonna have it the worst. So you better live it up, Esau, man. Cause it really Esau don't even believe in in a god, man. Esau believe in in Satanism, man. Well, Satan is his god, man. You know what I mean? He believe in pseudoscience, man. The Big Bang theory. Well, it's, um, evolution. All this madness, man. This pseudoscience, man. This false knowledge, man. Cause true science is what the scriptures, man. The knowledge. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. That's the true knowledge, the true science, man. The last subjects and commandments and the faith in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And understanding how Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai deals with his people, Israel, man, and deals with the earth, man, and deals with the, 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 the universe in its entirety, man. How Yahweh Shai deals, man. Not this false pseudoscience man evolved from monkeys, man. That's why Esau, you gonna have it the worst, man. Because you have truly polluted the earth, man. You have fucked up the whole earth, man. With your madness and mad philosophies, man. Your mad gods. Your mad ide ideologies. I'll close it out with this scripture. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 13, chapter 13 verse 28. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of Yahweh and you yourselves thrust out. Oh, so that's particular that's re that's really first first and foremost talking about the two thirds of Israel, man, who have become like heathens unto Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Why? Because they're worshipping all the gods of the heathens, man. So why are they gonna be thrust out, man? On this side, man, and they have to be what? Reborn, man. You know what I mean? And they're going to still have that shame with them, man, that contempt, knowing that what? They went against the order of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. But guess what? You heathens are also going to be thrust out into captivity also, man, same way. You're going to be done in, man, you heathens, man. So, hey, man, this is going to be the test, man, <laughs> the test of, of who is the true power on the earth, man, who is the true power that rule it, rule it, man, man. And we shall know who's the power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is the power, man. Like the apostles coin, man. And with that, I want to say, Kal Halalium, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakakudash. Double honors be to the apostles and elders of great millstone and rule well. Shalom to the sensei. I came out there across the four wings, the four corners of the earth. Shalom.